Bismillah wa salat wa salam ala Rasulullah. Hello everyone. Today we're going to start uh, Unit 4, Part 1, which mainly focuses on writing negative sentences in past simple tense. Kitabat Jumal wa nafiha fi zaman al fi zaman al madi al basit. As usual, the objectives of this lesson are as follows. Number one, to distinguish between affirmative and negative sentences. Two, know when to use past simple tense, istikhdam al madi al basit, and how to negate sentences in the past simple tense. وكيفيه نفي هذه الجمل في هذا الزمن. To start with, as usual, we are going to start talking about structure in use. سنبدأ بالتحدث عن التركيب والاستخدام هذا الزمن. We see that simple past tense is the use of the second form of verb. هو استخدام التصريف الثاني للفعل الذي عادة ما يكون الذي عادة ما يكون ينتهي بال ed طبعا اذا كان الفعل قياسيا we call them regular verbs مثل liked or walked ستجد ان التصريف الثاني من هذا الفعل ينتهي بال ed ولذلك يطلق عليه اسم الافعال القياسيه regular verbs or it might be irregular أو أن يكون الفعل غير قياسي أي أن التصريف الثاني لا ينتهي بال ed مثل eight كالماضي من eat كذلك wrote كصيغة الماضي من write okay Now, it is used usually to talk about an activity or an action that happened in the past and has no relation to the present. يستخدم هذا الزمن للدلالة أو للدلالة عن حدث حدث في الزمن الماضي وليس له علاقة إطلاقا بالزمن الحاضر. And we try to clarify this by the timeline. حاولنا توضيح ذلك بالخط الزمني الموجود أمامنا. You see the action happened here. حدث الفعل في هذه الفترة. Which is in the past and finished before the present time. وانتهى قبل أن يدخل الزمن الحاضر. Okay. Now we are going to use the past simple tense in this. Uh, short uh, paragraph and we will see when we have regular verbs and when we have irregular verbs okay let's start last year so we know that we are talking about something in the past so we have to use present uh, we have to use past simple tense last year I you see we have to use the proper form of go to England on holiday so I went and notice with me that go is one of the irregular verbs أحد الأفعال غير القياسية I visited visited is a regular verb because we have ED I visited many interesting places such as the Waxy Museum in the mornings my friends and I walked also regular verb we uh, and I walked in the streets of London it rained a lot and we now here we have irregular verb some beautiful rainbows we also we have irregular verb we spent a lot of money on buying gifts for our families and friends. Okay, now next, if you want to make these sentences negative, 
we try to do the following we use did as an auxiliary verb plus not and we change the verb into its base form إذن حيثما صادفنا فعلا في الزمن الماضي البسيط نستخدم did كفعل مساعد متبوعا ب not ونقوم بإعادة الفعل إلى شكله الأصلي إذ أنه كان كما تعلمون في الصورة الثانية أو التصريف الثاني Let's look at these, at these examples We did not play tennis You see We used auxiliary verb Did not And we changed play into Its base form إلى الشكل الأصلي Okay Because the sentence was الجملة في الأصل كانت We played tennis Sentence number two Irfan did not go to office The same thing We used did not And we changed the verb into its base form Using go Because the uh, original sentence was الجملة الأصلية كانت Irfan went to office okay look at this example I met Ali yesterday if I want to make it negative how can we make it negative together yes I did not and we change this meet Ali okay Now, we have the same passage that we uh, filled into uh, its blanks, but we are going to make all sentences negative in this uh, time. Number one, I did not go. To England I did not visit many interesting places such as the Waxy Museum in the mornings my friends and I did not walk in the streets of London it did not rain a lot and we did not see some beautiful rainbows we did not spend a lot of money on buying gifts for our families here we have just some of the irregular verbs by both can could choose chose come came find found eat ate drink drank swim swam run ran see saw meet and met if you notice that all of the second forms of these verbs do not have ed at the end that's why we call them irregular verbs thank you very much for your careful listening and see you in part two